Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your CrossFit Cure at Home workout for Monday, July 6th. Hope you guys all had a really nice weekend. Uh, we got some fun stuff this week, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Our workout for Monday is uh, called Border Collie. It is on a 21 minute clock in three minute increments. So before we get into that, let's talk about our warm up, which is going to be seven minutes of the following movements. We will do a 100 meter jog, or if you're inside, don't want to jog, 30 seconds of high knees in place. So bringing that knee up nice and close, nice and tall. Try not to get your feet too far out in front of you. Try not to lean back too far, but bring the foot right up underneath your butt and bring your knees up nice and high. Then you're going to do 10 inchworm push-ups. So walking out, your hands out, doing a push-up. If you need to go down to your knees for the push-up, that's a great way to scale that back. Um, also, stepping out wider is a really good way to make this a little bit easier. Walk out, do the push-up, and come back. And then our last movement is 10 back stepping lunges each side. So nice reverse lunge, stepping back, making sure that knee goes directly underneath your hips. And then as you stand up, push through that back toe and through that front heel to stand back up, alternating every time. So 10 per side, alternating 20 total. That is your warm up. Do that for seven minutes. So once you get through, just start back at the top with those high knees or that 100 meter jog. Okay, our workout today, border collie on a 21 minute clock. Every three minutes, you are going to complete the following three shuttle runs of about 50 meters. Um, so going out and back, out and back, out and back for a total of, we're looking for somewhere between 150 and 200 meters. We want this to take about a minute, uh, maybe a minute and a half cap here. Um, if you get a little bit over that 200, somewhere like uh, 250, 300 meters, that's okay too. Just something quick. Um, the reason we want the minute and a half cap is because you're going to come back. You are going to do 15 handstand push-ups or hand release push-ups. Um, we can scale these down. We just want you to work on your push-up strength, making sure you're getting that full range of motion. Chest down to the ground, pick up your hands and press back up if you're doing hand release push-ups. Again, scale the reps here down to something like 10. If you need to do um, regular push-ups, if you need to do knee push-ups, wall push-ups, that's fine. 15 push-ups, something we can get through in basically one set here and then you're going to go 15 plank to post so in a plank position off your hands lowering down to your elbows and then back up to your hands is one repetition again something we can get through quickly if you need to scale this down to your knees that's fine if you want to scale this uh, the repetition something down to 10 as well that's fine too so the reason we're talking about scaling repetitions here is because you have three minutes to complete these movements we want about 15 to 30 seconds of rest here. So something that you can finish in around two and a half minutes to two minutes, 45 seconds. So you can get rest before the next round starts. You're going to do a total of seven rounds here um, for that 21 minutes. Um, and we are going to go ahead and record your rest time. So in your notes, you can record your scales. Um, we're going to total up our rest time here. Um, and that is it for the workout. So if you have any questions, shoot myself or, or Jean a text um, and we'll uh, help you out. But make sure that each of those intervals is taking about um, two and a half minutes to two minutes, 45 seconds. The remainder is rest. You're doing that seven times through for a total of 21 minutes. Okay, that is our workout. That's Border Collie. Our accessory work today is all planking. Um, three sets of 30 second planks. We are going to do a plank either off our hands or elbows in the standard position for 30 seconds, then a plank off our left side for 30 seconds, and a plank off our right side for 30 seconds, three times through. Um, tips here, you can lower that down to um, the knees in the plank if you need or elevate it up. Same thing if you want to elevate your side plank off a chair or table just so you're a little bit higher up. We're just trying to work um, our side abdominals and those a little bit some core stability. Our stretching is two sets of 30 seconds of doorway stretch per arm. So find a wall, find a doorway. If you're out at the park, find a tree. Put your arm on that stretch. You can do a sideways chest opener stretch, an overhead stretch, tricep, push that up against that, however you want to do that. And then 30 seconds per arm windmills. So um, we're going to go ahead and um, our arm windmills are a little bit different. You're going to stand out nice and wide, arms up overhead. You're going to 
cross down touch, come back up, cross down touch, come back up. So actually, sorry, it's not 30 seconds per arm, it's just 30 seconds of arm windmills like that. That is it, that is your Monday workout. Hope you guys enjoy it. Keep track of your time and we will see you for tomorrow's workout.